is Sharon Jones. My parents own the Ocean House Hotel here in Florida. One day, I decided to have a pool party here at Ocean House. That pool party was just the start to a terrible and horrific summer. It all started one day at school. Hey Sharon, what does this mean? Hey Sharon, is this some sort of joke? It's no joke. I'm having a pool party Friday after school. You never spoke a word to me in your life, and now we're like buddy buddies. Well, we're seniors. If we don't get to know each other soon, we never will. Sharon, this is gorgeous. Mind if I run a story on it? Awesome. See you later. Right or wrong? Did you just send me those invites so you can tell me I wasn't invited after all? And was it just a big mistake? Look, Dan, some jerk sent the invites. I would never have enough money to print them anyway. Do you want me to come? I see. Wait, Dan, you should come. I need someone there who knows what's really going on. You mean you're not going to bring lover boy Phil? I'll be there. Any luck inviting this to your party? You tell me. You're the one sending out these fancy invites. Whoa, you know I don't have the money for this. Are you sure your mom didn't send them? My mom doesn't have the money. Maybe it's not that bad. It makes you look real good. Send all these fancy things out. I just don't want to look like a snob. Whatever it takes, babe. You will finally get as popular as you deserve. You slime on you. You're sure spending a lot of money on these. They're amazing. We'll be there for sure. See, by the end of the year, you will be prom queen. We're here for catering. I didn't order any food. Relax, it's already paid for. I got it at Dave's Treasure Trove. I was just there. Same. I'm going there tomorrow. The food is prepared! Stop! We need the salt! I'll go get the salt from the kitchen. I'll go see what's taking you. I'm going to check on the girls. Can I go get it myself? No! I thought you wouldn't care. I found it, but I didn't see the girls anywhere. Sorry, Sharon. I called the police. After all these strange events occurred, Sue, Angel, Vicky, and myself decided to form a pact. We promised each other that we would report everything and anything honestly, and we also decided to meet regularly at lunch. Sharon, this is Irene Gregmore. Her parents own the Ocean House franchise. Hi, oh, Sharon. Hi. How about we go hang out in my room? Sure. this? Someone who sees everything you do. Leave me alone! Look under your bed first. Who was it? I don't know. Ah! The next thing I knew, the lobby was filled with police. Everyone was there and they all thought I murdered the girls. That was until the police came to the conclusion that the murderer was... along with everyone else. That night I found a note in my pocket. I guess Dan slipped it in my pocket at the lobby. The note said to look upstairs and when I did I found a doll floating in my bathtub in a pool of blood. I was so freaked out. After worrying so much about the disappearance and who the murderer was of the girls, Phil thought it would be a good idea to have another pool party. Little did I know it would be as tragic as the first. <laughs> 
Come on in here, the water's fine. No one was allowed into Ocean House until further notice. Now once again they thought I was the murderer. I was interrogated by the police with Dan. I felt like Dan knew something that I didn't, and since he was the only one that believed it wasn't me, we met in the woods by Ocean High School to talk privately almost every day. I knew it wasn't Dan. Personally, I thought it was Irene, especially after what I found in her purse. Not only that, but I also caught her throwing a knife in the pool with the initial CW. I needed to figure out what was going on, so I decided to confront her. I'm sick to death of your dirty tricks, Cragmore. You're just a rich now playing with us peasants. I saw you throw the knife in the pool. Just sit down and relax. I'll go get us a snack. Did you not hear me? I hear what Did you do that? Dan, you gotta come quick. I'll be waiting. I told Dan everything, from my suspicion of Irene to the ghost. After that, Dan headed to the balcony where he would sleep for the night. Just when I thought there couldn't be any more drama, in one night, Dan found something that might answer a few of our questions. Hey Sharon, I found the murderer. What? How could a doll be a murderer? It was inside the doll's leg. Explain. It's, uh, it seems to be an autobiography. Read. Charlotte Williams lived in an ocean house. Her father was a sea captain who sailed the Atlantic and the Caribbean, trading merchant goods. He would, he would come back from his journey and bring her glorious things. One day, her father gave her a doll that resembles Charlotte. She wouldn't make wishes to the doll, and then, would, then they would come true. So CW's is Charlotte Williams? I guess so. But on Charlotte's 16th birthday, she forgot everything about the doll. Captain Williams invited her to, the, to accompany him on his next journey. During his journey, she met a young artist named Charles Worth. They fell in love and soon became engaged. Charlotte's father refused to let them marry, but in the end, he gave in. It turns out that Charlotte Worth was a gold digger and crazy about money. Inside the doll's foot was also a treasure map leading to the pool where I guess Captain Williams left the treasure. I know how to catch the murderer. Let's have another pool party. When? Right now. Sharon, turn up the music so the murderer will hear you. Oh, and I got something for you. Fell from my little pool party trick. Now, didn't you, Phil? You hurried over here because you heard the music. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if you cruise up and down the streets every night. A crazy man. You tried so hard to scare everybody away, so you could look for the gold in peace and quiet. But you know, buddy, even though you could close the place down to nothing but the mice, you still never found the treasure. I'm gonna make sure you never get your hands on the gold. The gold's in the pool, you idiot. With me. Help me, Dan.
told my friend Tony to tell me when I did my rounds tonight. I thought that creep Dan might be up to something. You know. How do you know your buddy just didn't keep on running? Because we had a doomsday plan. He knows to spread the word. We'll be out on a boat to the coast of Florida on a desert, a de to a deserted island. We? You're my ticket to freedom. You couldn't kill me, could you? you better believe it, baby. You killed the other four girls? They got in our way. How? They were expensive stuff, so when we finally got the gold, it wouldn't be worth as much because of the stuff that they were wearing. Was that the only reason? No, we needed the jewelry to put under your mattress so the police would suspect you. Did Irene, Sue, Angel, and Vicky help you? Not in your life, especially that Irene. She asked too many questions. She was almost as bad as Dan. So you were the one who dressed as the, that girl and made that phone call? Yeah, you'd never see anything straight after you. Dr we, I drugged you and Tony does the great impressions. Get out of the car. <laughs> Tony must have betrayed me. If he can't pay for this, you will. So I guess I was wrong. It wasn't Irene. It was Phil. He was a gold digger just like Charles. As for Irene, it turns out she's an undercover cop from Virginia. Ocean House is up and running again, and we're already booked for next summer. All the gold that was found is now in a museum. Dan and I decided to try dating again. So in conclusion, Phil is behind bars where he deserves to be. I just wish to get him there he didn't have to murder four girls. The end. Get out of the car. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 